I'm back. Hi guys, Glory Hunter back. It's been a couple of weeks. Um, I had two weeks off, just absolutely mental. Just with work, I was working a lot at night, so just getting up late, I'm just sticking the film on, and then getting ready to go work again. So yeah, just busy with a lot of stuff. Just haven't had time to do a video. Um, I didn't really have enough pickups for a pickup video. Um, I did go into town yesterday and picked a few more bits. I thought oh, I'd get rid of these and uh, show you guys what we have been picking up. So I hope everyone's been well over the last couple of weeks. I've not been here. Um, it's, it's not been too bad. I've not even had that time, that much time to play much. I have now finished Bioshock Infinite on the Xbox One. Just got to do the DLC now. So I've mainly just been playing that and a few kind of uh, the games with gold titles um, just here and there little bits of playing um, but yeah not much at all just been so busy with stuff and like I say because I've been working nights I've not really done much in the day I've not been anywhere to pick anything up either so these are spread out from the last couple of weeks um, well pretty much one set of pickups from about two weeks ago and then the rest of the pickups from yesterday like I said not really been anywhere um, hope everybody's well like I say and uh, yeah let's see what we have actually been picking up so first thing we did get another steel book um, managed to find this in CX actually um, the last one I got was the um, Doctor Strange steel book for the Marvel this is another Marvel one that I needed I uh, really don't need many now I think about two and it is the Captain America Civil War steelbook. It's a really nice one. It's £22. It's, it's a lot cheaper than what I've seen online. You've got the Captain America and the Iron Man split there, all smashed up. And a nice backing there of the two facing off. So, yeah, really nice steelbook. And inside, just move these discs so you can see. Do have a nice splash scene inside of all the heroes and adventures fighting each other. So that's pretty cool. Did watch this again the other day. It's pretty good. So yeah, the other thing I did get around to doing is yesterday when I went into town, I went to watch a film. I went to watch um, Tomb Raider, the new Tomb Raider. So based on the kind of reboot of the Tomb Raider um, games, I'm not gonna do a full review, just that. Yeah, it was kind of alright. I didn't like the opening of the film at all. The first few minutes introducing Lara, I thought was actually terrible. I didn't like what they did with the character. She's just some kind of fast food bike courier delivery service girl. And I was just like, oh my god, what are you doing to us? Didn't like that at all. Um, but when she actually gets on the island and that kind of starts taking off from the game, that's really good. Like, it got a lot of the game in there. Added a few more bits. Did change a few little bits. Um, the whole thing with the father wasn't really working for me. Um, overall, not a bad film. The, the actress who's playing, Lara, Alicia, something I forget. Um, she actually does really well. She does look the part for most of it. Um, but I'm not going to give it a score or anything. I'll say don't do watch it. Everyone can make up their own minds. Everyone likes different things. So, I mean, check it out. See what you think. That's all I'm going to say. Um, it was okay. It was alright. Anyway, before we get into the game pickups, a couple more little pickups that I did get. These are things that I have seen around before. Um, obviously, Toys R Us uh, kind of gone under, all the stores closing, and there is a new a store that had just opened up in town and is now already closing. So obviously, they were selling off a load of their stuff cheap, up to like 50, I think 60% off. So I went in to see what they got, see if I could pick anything up for my nephew. Uh, but I did pick up a load of stuff for myself. A load of the uh, Final Fantasy trading cards, they were going cheap, so I picked up loads of them. And I've just been sorting them out actually and getting them into my folder. Uh, again, if anyone's interested in seeing them, I'll probably do a separate video on it if you're interested. There's three kind of sets out for it now. Um, I have collected all three and got a fair amount of them now. Um, but yeah, these were something else that were going cheap. So I thought, while they're going cheap, I'll pick one up just to see what they're like. And I picked these up a couple of weeks ago. And I went in again yesterday to see if they got any left, but they're all gone. So these are literally the only ones I've got. Anyway, it is. The first one is a Super Mario 
coin collection thing. So it's in like a mystery bag. You don't know what coins you're going to get. It does come with a kind of sticker as well. I got the uh, golden bullet. And you get obviously a guide to all the things you can collect. So these are the stickers you can get. And these are the coins that you can get there. So a nice little checklist. Like I say, I've seen these in other places. And the coin I got was Luigi. So it comes in a nice little display thing as well. And there's the back. I'm a coin collector as well, actual coin. So this is nice. It goes with my kind of coin collecting and game collecting. And I got a Luigi. So that's, that's pretty cool. It's got some nice weight to it. It is metal. So that was pretty cool. And the other similar thing we got was a Super Mario dog tag. Again, going cheap, just wanted to see what it was like. So we pick one up. And again, inside these, you do get a kind of checklist. So there's quite a lot to get. Ooh, obviously, varying on the rarities. You can get like gold ones and stuff like that. Uh, we get a kind of sticker. I've got kind of all the bad guys. And you get a trading card, which is pretty cool. Now I got a, ba a, a balloon baby Yoshi with Luigi, and it's kind of holographic. If you can see that, that's really good. Really like that. I probably like that more than the dog tag. And it's number eleven. Anyone else who bought these? And the dog tag comes in a little bag, and I got a Yoshi, and that is kind of shiny as well. I don't know if you can see that, but again, it is metal. It's got a Super Mario logo there on the back. Uh, with just his name and it's not flat it's kind of bubbled so it's metal with like a, a plasticky cover i suppose it's hard to explain without you've seen it physical you probably can't make it on the camera but you know that's all right a bit of a nintendo mario memorabilia to go with all the other gums that we've got so yeah there's all the other random pickups that we've had onto some games so a couple of weeks ago now, obviously I picked these up um, going into town. I think I've gone in to watch another film. I go in pretty much every week now um, on my day off just to get in town, have a look at what they've got, check out the films. There's quite a lot of films coming out that I want to see, especially over the next couple of months or so. Um, so I'll be going in, hopefully getting more pickups as well. But anyway, these are the bits we've got. We've got some OG, and these are the only OG we've got actually from this point. Uh, Burnout 2 Point of Impact for three quid obviously all complete as usual um, I, I played one of the burnout games back in the day with a friend uh, when we saw the Xbox nights and stuff can't remember which one it was but it's not a series I actually really played much um, anyway another one we have is Torino 2006 Winter Olympics the 50p 50p don't mind this kind of kind of sports title there's plenty on there we've got alpine skiing i, I like skiing myself um speed skating bobsleigh biathlon lunge and ski jumping and the graphics aren't too bad on it i'll give it a quick go and one filler 50p fifa world cup germany 2006 there we are that's pretty much almost all the fifa's done now i think i need one more so cracking on and the best title we got at this, this point, I say best, I don't know too much about it, but I see it now, I was like, for that price, that type of game, definitely picking this up. It's a PS3 title, it is a JRPG, I'm probably going to muller the title. It was six quid, which isn't bad for a JRPG at all. And it is Agrest Generations of War. So, really nice artwork there on the front, proper RPG um, style there. There is our disc and manual with a stupid stick I've got to try and get off. I'm going to try and show you some of these screenshots on the back if we can get the glare off. These are some of our characters and some screenshots there. Hopefully, you can make them out. Um, but I'll give it. Obviously played the beginning a little bit. It seems all right. It's JRPG. Um, I didn't play it too much because I've got so much going on already. Uh, if you have played it, 
know much about it, let me know. Is it good? It looks pretty decent, so any JRPG I'm going to give a go. And that was it. That's all I had, so that's why I didn't do a video. Um, and then I picked up a load yesterday, so we've got some good stuff uh, off various consoles here. Um, so let's take a look. Again, obviously, always hit the CX because it's local. The amount of stock they've got. And I know CX again are bashing at the minute um, with the whole printed cover thing. I'm not going to go too much into it. Plenty of people have made videos. Um, I'll just add my two cents into it. I, it's something that's been going on for years. I've been well, well um, informed of it, if you like. Um, aware of it. I've been well aware of it. Um, it's something that I see in most CEXs. And just because one, I suppose, popular YouTuber I didn't know about until this came out made a video on it, everyone started making videos on it, discussing it. And my kind of argument is if you're a game collector, you're regularly collecting a certain set of games, and you're buying a game, and you don't realise at the time that that game is fake, um, just the cover, then you're doing something wrong because there is a blatant difference between the real ones and the fake ones. If you don't even have to pick them up, you can see it straight away on the shelf. So, woeful them people. Um, obviously, that could probably get bashed in the comments. I don't want to go too far into it, like I say. Um, it's blatantly obvious which ones are real and which ones are fake. If you're seeing a fake, don't buy it. Simple as that. And it is not just CX that do this, plenty of other stores do it. Um, I think it's, CX is just obviously getting hit most because they have so many stores, such a big company, people are getting on the hype train of it. Um, Tutu will probably back me up here, he talks about CX quite a lot. Um, it's a means to an end. They do things right, they do things wrong. I'm not saying at all that it's right what they're doing, it's blatantly wrong, it should be happening, but it happens. Just avoid it, just don't buy it. I'm not going to be on the bandwagon of that's. Um, not shop there anymore because it, when it comes down to it you sometimes need to because the amount of stock they've got and the games that you can find it's sometimes the only place you can get them from so you know it is it is what it is um, you take from them what you can yeah you know yes what they're doing is wrong but I'm not going to boycott them at all you know I use them for what I need to use them for um, just be vigilant about what you're buying. It's blatantly obvious which ones are fake. And a lot of people say, obviously, the covers have their logo on the back. You have to be careful because sometimes they don't. I came across one yesterday. I should have took a picture. It was God of War on the PS2. And the spine wasn't even white like the PS2 games. It was coloured. So I was thinking, oh, that looks different. Maybe it's a variant. Pick it up. Blatantly fake. The, the ink was all fuzzy. And the paper was a, a just normal crappy print paper, but it didn't have the logo on its side, so it doesn't always work. Just do a bit of research, know what you're looking for, um, is basically all I can say on that matter. And it's not just um, look out for fakes, look out for American games as well. They do take, I've seen American games in there, so look out for If you're only a PAL collector, make sure your games say PAL on them, not NTSC. Or anything else. Obviously, if you are collecting for them regions, fair enough, go for it. Um, but just be more vigilant about what you're getting. Let's leave it at that. That's my two cents into it anyway. Just, yeah. So, what did we get from ZX this time? Um, one I've been after for a while, but I wanted a gun. But you can use the motion control, so I'll pick this up. £2.50. It's Time Crisis Blazing Storm. This comes with three games, less than a quid a game. So, we've got the Blazing Storm game, which is a different take on Time Crisis. It's not a kind of on rails, ducking in and out of cover shooting. You, what I've played of it, you get to move around like a shooter as well as taking cover. And you get to move the controller, the motion controller up and down to duck in and out of cover as well. So it works all right. It's a bit clumsy with the controller as all the games are on here. Um, you do need a gun, which I'm looking out for. Uh, I've not tried it with motion controller yet. I will give that a blast later. Uh, but yeah, it comes with Time Crisis 4 as well, Arcade Edition, and Dead Storm Pirates. So, there we are, our extra games, you can see that. So Deathstone Pirates, I have played at the arcade with the misses, and it was a pretty good arcade as well, but you have that big kind of gun that you hold up, not a shooting gun, you have like a, almost like a Tory gun, 
um, blasting up um, obviously skeletons and that kind of stuff. And it's more piratey compared to obviously it's the name um, Time Crisis, where it's more a military shooter, if you like. Um, but yeah, happy to have that. Can't wait to get the G Con for it and give it a proper go. And then another couple of PS3 titles we got. Again, a couple of JRPGs, which I had not heard of or seen of before. Even, uh, obviously, when I was working in Blockbuster, it was when the PS3 came out. And all the, the I was there for about three years. In that time, I'd never heard or seen of these before. Even though I, was, I didn't have a PlayStation, I was keep, obviously keeping an eye on what was coming out for it. Um, but yeah, seeing these. And like I say, any RPGs, especially JRPGs, that I'm going to see... We're going to be picking up. These are only on PlayStation as well. It just say in the top corner. So the first one we got was Tears to Tiara 2 for 15 quid. So again, nice artwork. There. Disc and manual. And this one, obviously it's number two. So I don't know. I need to do some research if the first one came out on the PS3 as well or what console it did come out on. And whether the story is linked. Obviously, with RPGs, you can never tell. You get sequels, but especially like Final Fantasy, it's a completely different story every time, whereas other sequels um, are sequels to the first one. So, what does this category fall into, basically? Is it worth starting before playing the first one? And this one, um, as well, is actually in Japanese. So, it's all in Japanese with English subtitles. Um, I, I don't mind that. I am into my kind of Japanese culture. I do watch a lot of movies in Japanese with subtitles so I won't find that a problem playing this. Um, the combat system seems quite interesting, you, it's kind of one of them grid strategy games where you move your character around and attack where, who you want to with what abilities. Um, I played it a little bit, yeah it seems right, graphics are, are pretty cool. Um, it's one of them where the kind of cutscenes and when the characters are talking, the characters are full scale, big, proper manga anime type um, cutscenes but then when you, you're kind of playing the game your characters shrink to a smaller almost cartoony kiddie version of themselves a bit kind of world of final fantasy type thing so it kind of splits between the two it's kind of interesting but yeah until I played it more can't say more um, and like always if you've got these games play these games let me know about them are they pretty decent uh, the second one we got for 12 quid was, and I'm going to butcher this as well, um, Atelier Aisha, the Alchemist of Dusk. So there we are, and this is um, Aisha there. Like I said, I've, I've played the kind of prologue to get to know the characters. I don't know how the combat works in this because I've not came across it yet. The beginning was literally finding this girl and getting her to synthesize some potions, going out to find um, herbs and stuff and mix some potion and that's pretty much all I've got to because I've given these games a quick test before doing this video. Again, graphics are awesome, like a kind of um, anime if you like, that kind of style. Um, but yeah, looks pretty decent and another one to get into at some point. My light is absolutely dying and a lot of snow again so it's a bit sunny today but you know anyway ps2 title yes another rpg jrpg i suppose um 18 pound ps2 title i've not come across this before so let me know if the price is worth it i know this series of games goes for quite a lot on the ps1 uh, i think this is probably the first one on the ps2 it might not be this is number four Three might also be, again, it's something I need to do some research in. It's Sui Coden 4. Yep, on PS2, 18 quid. Um, like I said, the Sui Coden games are quite sought after, relatively expensive tiles on the PS1. I don't know about the PS2 versions, let me know. Um, but there we are. The manual on this, it's, well, it's not stupid, it's paper. Obviously, it's paper, but it's like a really kind of old style mappy paper if that makes sense and uh, not like your glossy manuals of usual it's really nice and it's in good condition kind of old style paper manual anyway it also came with a small little poster thing 
which was quite nice. And whatever this was, another kind of poster thing there. And on the back, some artwork and poster of Yee's uh, Thor, the Ark of Nephilism. Awesome pronunciation. But yeah, so it came with them as well, which is always a bonus. Make sure everything's in there. Um, I. Again, I've tested it quickly just now. Uh, the opening is quite interesting. It was kind of more of a naval combat. Um, so you get your ship, you put your characters in places of your ship where you want them. Obviously, a, a captain, a, a gunnist, and then hand to hand people. Uh, you manoeuvre your ship around a grid, uh, place it where you want, and shoot your cannons. And But your cannons are shot, depending who you put on the cannon, have different magical properties. So you can shoot, obviously, like lightning, water, that kind of stuff. And the opposing ship that you're fighting, and um, we'll shoot the same, so in the occasion I had, I was shooting electric, he was shooting water, so my electric kind of went through the water, nullified it, but did them damage. And if we both shoot electric, they kind of nullify each other, and no one causes damage. Um, so that seems quite interesting, it's not just a combat, we then went into hand-to-hand -hand combat on the ship, and it's basic, turn-based kind of RPG combat as you'd normally get. So again, a game really want to play, but a game... I this series I don't know much about and again is it one of them where the sequels carry on or separate stories so again I need to do some research into and find out have you played this one is it one of the better serial coding games is there a bad serial coding game I don't know it's not a series I never got to play but it's one I want to pick up but like I say they're quite expensive so it's finding them at the right price and condition so yeah we've added that in so that's pretty cool on to some more so a new game, picked up a brand new game from game, uh, it was on sale, it's a game that the missus has been looking after and wanted me to pick up, um, so I've seen it cheap, I think it was 14 99 down from 20 um, series that I believe that, I don't know how right this is, but some I heard or remember hearing about, that the people who made this are the people who made Banjo-Kazooie and they wanted to make another Banjo-Kazooie game but couldn't get the rights to it or something? I don't know. So they made this. Instead, it's Ukulele. A similar style type game. Um, it's co-op, so me and the missus is going to play this co-op and see how that goes. Obviously it doesn't have a manual because it's an Xbox One game. Uh, not played it at all yet, so don't know how it plays. But looks interesting, gives us something to play together. So, that's pretty cool. And then the next three games we got, again from game, in the deal of three for two. And the first one I came across was this, and I thought, oh, I'll have a look, see if we can get some more. Uh, the PlayStation 3 game that I've been after for a while, and it is Ninja Gaiden Sigma, the first one. We obviously already have the second one. I think this was like $1.99 or something. Complete. So that's the one we got free, because it was buy to get one free. The other two games I got were $2.99, so I got that one free. And the first one we got, it didn't have its manual, but there was no other games I wanted, so I thought I'd I try and find a manual for this. Like, this is one of the rare occasions where I didn't pick a game without a manual. Um, it's Dark on the 360. Didn't know too much about it. There's a disc. Um, but pulling it on, it actually seems alright. It's kind of a cell shaded, well, it is cell shaded, third person game. And looking at the back, you are a vampire, so. Yeah, you get to fight vampires as well as use vampiric powers. It says it's a stealth action meets RPG, which is intriguing. So we'll give that a go better at some time when we get round to it. Seems alright. And the last one we got, I remember coming out and there being a bit of hype around it, but then it just kind of disappeared. I think I don't think it did very well. It just kind of flopped and the price dropped on it. And like I said, I picked this up for a couple of quid in this deal. Um, no, absolutely nothing about it. But looking at the back, quite intrigued. I thought I'll give it a go, you know, it's, it's in this deal, I need another game. It's a game on 360 called Remember Me. Now, I've literally just finished playing this. And like I say, on the back, it gives you nothing away. I didn't even know what type of game it was or anything. It's a Capcom game, so I thought, you know, it's got to be fairly decent. There's our disc and manual. And, yeah, it is. It, it, it seems pretty good. The graphics are really good on it. And it is a third person, I suppose, action adventure game. You can move around the environment, obviously climbing up ledges, moving around, jumping gaps, so that kind of stuff, finding pickups. And there's combat in it, it's hand-to-hand -hand combat. You get to 
make your own combos as well. So you get a list of buttons and stuff you can unlock and put them in a sequence of, com uh, of combo that you want to use. So you can have a power combo, or I've just learned one way I can use a health regeneration combo. So you get health back from using that. And yeah, the story scene is really intriguing on this. And I, I probably, this will be one of my next games to play. Cause I was really getting into it. I've only done the first kind of level. Uh, you start the game in a, a facility. They're trying to wipe your memory. And for the most part, they've wiped most of your memory already. And as you're going to the final kind of final stages, someone comes in your mind somehow and helps you escape and explains to you what, what's been going on. And you used to be a, a fighter to help people with their memories or something. I don't know. Like I said, I've only played the first level. Um, and I guess that's what it is. You're trying to get your memory back as well as help this um, group of, I suppose, mercenaries take down this corporation. Um, wiping people's memories it's kind of like a drug where people are, are using it to suppress memories or get happy memories back and everyone's addicted to it and all this kind of thing and i've just got to this one place where this uh, woman or bounty hunter attacked me and at this point i would got my kind of uniform back in this glove and the glove allows you to tap into their mind and change their memories which is really interesting so you get to see a, a memory of of theirs and you get to alter it in certain ways um, by using glitches now not every glitch is a good thing it could either it could kill the person you're trying to change the memory uh, so finding a combination of the glitches um, like a bit like a puzzle as well to bring it together to get the right um, combination that you need to change their memory the way you need to help put them on your side so like I said very interesting game uh, that's probably going to be one of my next ones that I start playing. Um, if you've played it, what did you think? Um, if not, probably check it out. It seems really interesting if you like story-driven um, games. And it's even more interesting that I know nothing about it and it's a game about memory loss. So I'm in, in the dark as my character as I am. So, you know, we're in the same place. It's, it works quite well. So I'm really interested in getting to that. Um, but that is all of the pickups this time. Um, so more, I suppose, quality over quantity this time. Some really kind of more high value titles, some hopefully better titles um, when I get around to playing them, that is. And yeah, we have picked up a lot of um, mystery minis as well, which I'll do a video in a minute and put that up for next week. And some more pots, so there will be a video next week. Uh, apologies it's not been on for a couple of weeks, like I say, just been so busy with stuff and just tired and just, yeah, couldn't get around to doing one. So, yeah, it was going to happen. We knew it was going to happen. I did say, but yeah, I wouldn't expect to have two weeks off, to be fair, but, you know, these things happen. So, I'm back for now. Hope you've enjoyed, guys. Thanks to all the new subscribers. I've had a big influx over the last uh, week or so. Of new subs so hi guys welcome hope you're enjoying the content um it's a like if you've enjoyed this as usual if you're not subscribed already hit that subscribe button there's plenty more still to come um a lot more collection videos i still need to do and things like that and yeah hopefully guys we'll see you soon in the next one cheers bye for now